video is going to be all about direction of current. Let us look at this flow chart. Current in a circuit, this is the flow chart. Current produces magnetic field. Magnetic field produces flux. Flux can be given by B dot A. That is BA cos theta. Okay, before proceeding, let me say, the current in a circuit produces magnetic field. This magnetic field strength can be given either by bio savarts law or ampere circuital law. Now, magnetic field produces flux. What is this flux? Flux is given mathematical expression is B dot A. That is B A cos theta. When there is any change in this flux, that is D phi dt, you have induced EMF. There is an induced EMF which Faraday has found out experimentally from his experiments. This induced EMF gives rise to current. Today we are going to talk about the direction of this current. What is the direction? What will be the direction of current produced by induced EMF? By induced EMF. So, this is again a mathematical expression of Faraday's law. Induced EMF is equal to minus d phi dt. If there are n turns in the coil, then the induced EMF is equal to minus n d phi dt. So, you, you have noticed the negative sign here. The negative sign indicates that the current produced, the current produced by induced EMF opposes d phi dt. This is the cause of current because this is the cause of induced EMF and this is induced EMF is the cause of current. So current produced by induced EMF opposes d phi dt. That's the reason we put in a minus in the mathematical expression. Now before we proceed, these cross lines, these cross indicate magnetic field lines entering into the page or you could say flux into the page. These dotted lines, these dots, they indicate magnetic field lines coming out of the page or flux out of the page. So this indicates the cross indicate flux into the page and the dots indicate flux out of the page. Now, if you have a south pole, south polarity in the coil, then the current will flow in the clockwise direction. It's an easy way of remembering. You draw an S and draw an arrow. So if there is a south polarity, you have current flowing in the clockwise direction. That's why we put an arrow over here to indicate that the current flows in the clockwise direction. If there is north polarity, then the current there will flow in the anti-clockwise direction. The easy way of remembering is draw an N and put an arrow here. So if there is again south polarity, the current there flows in the clockwise direction. If there is north polarity, then current there flows in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, we take an example. This cross again indicates that there is magnetic field lines are entering into the page. You have a rectangular coil which is getting pulled out of the magnetic field. It's getting pulled out of the magnetic field. 
Now, as we pull this rectangular coil out of the field, the area enclosing the flux reduces. This part of the rectangular coil comes out of the magnetic field and the area enclosing the flux reduces. So there is a change in area. There is dA dt. So the new area that is enclosing the flux is this. This is the new area. Going by the mathematical expression, induced EMF is equal to minus n d phi dt which is also equal to d phi dt because sorry this is also equal to d phi dt because there is no there is just one term so n can be taken as one now phi being equal to b dot a since there is a change in area there is d phi dt is equal to b da dt so this means there is an induced emf and this induced emf can lead to what we are talking about current and we are learning more about the direction of this current which is produced by induced emf So there is, an, there is a current which is getting produced because of the induced EMF. So what happens? What happens to the direction of current? You can see that the because the area is reducing the flux into the flux into is reducing. The flux into is reducing. So the direction the current will current this current the direction of current will be in such a way that it will oppose the oppose the decrease in flux into so the current will develop the what is the polarity that is going to develop here it's going to be a south it's going to develop a south polarity a south polarity because it is going this current opposes the decrease in flux into if you develop a south polarity then the flux into increases the flux into increases so basically the current produced counters the decrease in flux by developing a south polarity and hence the current is going to be clockwise so this is the arrow shows the direction of current in the coil this is going to be the direction of current in the coil we take another example of this triangle which is moved into the which is pulled into the magnetic field area so what happens the area which encloses the flux keeps on increasing gradually. First it is this part, then this part gets filled with magnetic flux, then this part. So gradually the whole triangle gets filled with magnetic flux. There is a point to remember that once this whole triangular loop is inside the magnetic field, there won't be any current induced because emf will be equal to zero because there is no d phi dt will be equal to zero so emf induced will be equal to zero so i will be equal to zero so this you should remember this that when the coil whether in this case or in the previous case once the coil is fully inside the magnetic field there is no change in flux there is no change in flux the hence no induced emf hence no current 
but once you are in the process of pulling it inside the magnetic field then as i showed you over here the magnetic field the area which is in enclosing the magnetic flux increases so what is happening in this case the flux into is increasing flux into is increasing so the direction of current will be in such a way that it will counter the increase in flux by developing flux out hence it has to develop a north polarity it has to develop a north polarity since it develops a north polarity the direction of current is going to be anti clockwise in the coil so current is induced in such a way that if there is an increase in flux in two there will be the the polarity developed in the coil will be such as to oppose this increase so there is, since there is an increase in flux into the polarity should be such that it decreases it counters this in this increase of flux into so the only way it can counter is by developing developing a north polarity and hence there will be flux out and the flux out opposes the increase in flux into because whenever there is a north polarity the flux comes out the flux comes out magnetic lines of force always come out of north pole and go into the south pole so if there is an increase in flux into the only way you can counter it by zip is by developing a north pole so that you have flux out and hence if a north pole means the current is going to be anti clockwise if there is a decrease in flux into if there is a decrease in flux into it will develop a south polarity that coil will develop a south polarity to increase the flux into and once south polarity develops the current is going to be clockwise increase of if there is an increase of flux out increase of flux out again there will be a south polarity to develop some flux into to counter this increase of flux out the next case if there is a decrease in flux out if there is a decrease in flux out it will develop a north polarity to counter this and current will be again anti clockwise so in the next part i'm going to give you some solved examples i'm going to explain how to determine the direction of current in coils in in some of the questions given behind your ncrt book